with a budget only companies could dream of and one of the greatest developers in the industry, Destiny had everything to be one giant step in our gaming experience. However, an empty shell compromise of absent story and a constant grinding both players and a fast but short-lived enjoyment. Things have turned around though, with massive updates and a full-on expansion, welcome to Bungie's MMO version 2. I'm Louis and this is Destiny The Taken King. As a guardian, you are brought back from the dead to continue your task of defeating enemies around the solar system. Guardians are reunited on the tower, the last stronghold of humanity on earth that is now deserted and infested with different cruel and powerful forces. From the last refugee, you will take part on quests to overcome evil on different planets. Mars, Venus, the Ring of Saturn and Mercury will all be part of your adventure. You will be teamed up with a ghost, a small AI that floats around you and helps you decrypt computers, hack through securities, and anything that requires an activity that doesn't need any bullets. The ghost is now voiced by Nolan North, which is a great welcome since his voice is acting is more colored and enjoyable all around than what we remember from Games of Thrones Smooth Talker. So, think you can kill a god? Don't think I have a choice. Since Destiny is considered an MMO, there are no offline mode, which means you will need a PlayStation Plus or Xbox Live subscription to play it. You can also expect maintenance time as well as weekly challenges and updates. All for the better, it never occurred to me as a problem of connectivity and joining up on other players is usually quick and easy. Of course, if you are playing in the old and obsolete strike or PvP, you might wait a while before being put with other guardians. You can also create your own little guild and step the challenge of Raid and Crucible. Annoyingly is the few features available between Guardians. There are no deep connections between one and each other and you do not have the possibility to trade. It feels a bit egocentric as a game that promotes team play. Fortunately, using voice chat works well and people are here to help you getting better gear. The story is still a miss, but the Taken King part is introducing the player in a more interesting way than the first part of the game. Indeed, when you set your first foot on the ground and start fighting with your fresh new guardian, you don't really understand what happened to you and you don't really care. Talking to NPCs is bland and mostly filling the gap between missions. Only a few moments puts you in a sweet position, but overall it's distant to the player. A microtransaction system is also available, but it's only being used to buy some emotes and dance moves. Go figure. Another annoyance is in the game repetition. Of course you can roam around the planets freely and find resources or complete objective, but invisible walls and basic tasks are mostly boring. You can kill so much of the same type of enemy before you get tired. Fortunately, the higher end strikes, raid and PvP does spice up the things a bit. There is a very good feel of getting that sweet sweet loot. Jumping puzzles, art bosses and mechanics helps extending the fun. You can really feel the Master Chief's DNA in Destiny's gameplay. The aiming, throwing grenades and melee does feel like a lot like a Halo game. It's not a complaint, on the contrary, if Destiny does something great, it isn't its control. Everything feels responsive, accurate and efficient. Using triggers to aim and shoot as well as using your ability is a perfect match to help your task of killing waves of enemies. Jumping around the puzzles, placing headshot and sticking a grenade on an enemy are all the things that will be accustomed to and absolutely frustration free. With RPG elements, Destiny touches various subjects. Your character has 40 levels to gain, expertise, traits and skills to unlock. From 3 main classes, you get 3 subclass for each that opens a variety of power and utility for you to grow and get accustomed to. There is enough variety and the overall leveling up feels great. Don't be too afraid, getting to max level is a matter of days rather than weeks. It's making the grind a lot less annoying. All the skills as precise use and mixing all of them as an important value to battle. Basically, you have to build your guardian to the best of your ability and power. Another important aspect is the gear. They have an important purpose all around, but after level 40, they regulate and balance your light level. This new metric is very important and will give you an idea of your average power. 
Even if you are a good shooter, you cannot expect to survive long if you are for say, 20 light lower than the recommended one. You will get your equipment from quest rewards, PvP matches and mostly out of bosses loot. With 3 equipped weapons and even more armor to wear, each pieces are important and fortunately looks very nice. From massive end guns, rocket lancers and sniper rifles, there is something for everyone in every situation. They are all offering something that you will enjoy and yet you will find balance along the way. Swords are also a new welcome and they are absolute fun to play. You can also choose different templates of colors and even plead allegiance to different factions to gain fame and reward. It's a bit mathematical and there are no real incentive rather than the stats of or the looks of the faction specific gear. Furthermore, you can also have a ship that you can replace and acquire but they are only shown during loading times and offers no gameplay whatsoever. Graphically, Destiny isn't as eye candy as the first day out but it still shines on different aspects. First, the game doesn't slow down one bit. Even with dozens of grumps and massive explosion, everything is fluid and stress-free. Enemies have an exemplary animation and designs that feels unique. From big centurions to feeble fallens, they act and attack differently, so you need to adjust your game style. The landscapes are various. Each planet has its own look and feel that really puts emphasis on the thematic. Earth is cold and placed in a sad story of human relics. The moon is dry of emotion, but its death are terrifying. Mars, Venus and Saturn really all have characters that brings a variety of architecture and atmosphere. Guardian looks great, with armors that differentiate from one another and weapons do give recall and an overall feeling of power. The music is okay, but it lacks some zing. It has some really good composition, but only at precise moment. It fills the games well and certainly deserves some awards. Gun sounds powerful and exemplary. Voice acting is very boring, but at least Ghost does a good job for your overall experience. The Taken King is the destiny that everyone wanted the first day out. Now that it's here, you have no excuses if you want a reliable, fun first person shooter MMO. Destiny deserves an 8.8 .8 out of 10. A lot more content, a lot more balance and a package that feels complete put its back on the track. Don't expect enormous variety and features, but a lot of fun and raiding nights to come. It's time, let's go Guardian. Great. What do we do now? We go down.